Hi everyone, this is an example of how to investigate and prevent a problem. It's a, a root cause analysis uh, case study for the Hawaii Missile Alert. So it's going to start with a, a 2Y, it's going to go to a 5Y, and we'll build it out to an 18Y. The PDF that you see, you can download. There's a link uh, beneath the video that you're watching where you can get a copy of that 18Y uh, cause map on a PDF. And then all this was built in uh, our cause mapping template in Microsoft Excel that you can download from our website, which is at uh, thinkreliability.com. So this, this cause map starts with a, a 2Y. There's uh, impact to the community because of uh, the panic for the residents of the state of, of Hawaii because of the, the false missile alert. That's a, a simple 2Y, very easy to build. It turns into a 3Y. And the false missile alert is because the operator submitted the wrong message. The operator submitted the wrong message because they're they're conducting a drill, and the reason they're they're doing the drill is the recent tensions uh, with North Korea. So here's a, a simple five Y cause map. It's got five Y questions, shows five cause and effect relationships. Uh, it can be expanded into a in this case a seven Y, and you say, well, the, we're doing the drill because of the tensions, but we're also doing the drill in Hawaii because of the, the proximity of its location in the Pacific Ocean. The person made the error, the human error is still identified, but just like the, the errors in your company, you've got to dig into a little bit further and what you find out is the menu that the operator is using is maybe not as clear as it could be. So the design of the user menu can mitigate the risk of a person making the error, just like in your uh, company. So certainly made an error, but there's a, a cause of why that is. There's causes actually, and you can, you can break this out. Also, um, the confirmation, the, the person selected the wrong one and then there's actually a confirmation did you want to send this message and, and there was another error made there which gets into a question of what was the design of the, the confirmation message so there's two different elements of information design that you can change in the system that mitigates the risk of somebody making an error and then there is not a false alarm message sent out for 38 minutes. So if you sent the false alarm in 30 seconds, that would be good. In this case, it went out in 38 minutes because there was no template built for a false alarm. This becomes a work process issue that says, should we have templates built that in case we send a false alert that we can notify people that it's actually a false alarm and it, it doesn't take so long, which is a process issue. There's another process issue inside of that. If you expand this map, it goes beyond a 16Y in this case to more like an 18Y that says there is no second uh, independent confirmation. So yes, the person made the error, they actually made a couple errors, but there was no second person that actually confirmed, yes, is this is the missile warning message we want to send out to the state. It's like on a commercial flight that all of you have been on, there's a pilot and a first officer, and there's some confirmation on items on the checklist. They're independent confirmations. That's why flight attendants say cross-check and verify. It's a, a double check. You can uh, measure twice and cut once, and it significantly reduces the risk of this issue, which is, is another process uh, piece. When you break this incident out into 18 causes, you don't have to solve all 18. There's some confusion about how you prevent a problem, but when you break this incident out, it starts giving you options to say, well, the way we design the menu and the way we design the work process and, and the information that, that the user sees, we can significantly reduce the likelihood of this issue. So that gives you options on different uh, solutions. We made this PDF so you could see that just like your incidents, it can start as a, a 5Y and expand into an 18Y. If you're not communicating the details that are inside of your issues, if you only stop with things like human error, you are definitely missing opportunities to solve the problem. You're not finding all the solutions that are available to you to mitigate risk in your organization. So again, to get a copy of this PDF, just click on the link beneath this video. You can visit our website and get a copy of the template. We, uh, we do other case studies regularly, so uh, you can attend uh, any of the webinars that we conduct and certainly um, downloading the case studies on our, our website for use within your organization. Thanks very much. Have a great day.